Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to do an advanced guide and some cool tips you might have not known with Kudami. So let's get started. We're going to be starting off with Kudami's umbrella. Kudami has a gold stance when teleporting to an ally or her umbrella. This means she can cancel combos as well as other gold stance abilities such as Zai's ultimate. This is a great way when linking onto your teammate and when they're caught in a combo or a gold attack when you can get them out of it. Kudami can also counter a counter attack. For example, when she is linked onto an ally and her teammate got countered, she can teleport before they get hit and knock the enemy back. This is great to keep a big HP for your teammate. Kudami can also use her umbrella to hide behind when versing Tianhai because he cannot grab through it so you and your team can just heal up behind your umbrella and he won't be able to attack you but of course you have to be careful with his teammate next we are going to talk about kurumi's teleport ultimate combo when seeing a low hp ally you would want to keep them up as much as possible so when they are being attacked you teleport to them knocking the enemy back and instantly ulting with a v1 and v2 this provides the most efficient usage for kurumi's ultimate or her teammates so they don't get interrupted when trying to heal in the circle. Next we're going to be talking about a counter for grapple. We all know that there's many different ways to counter a grapple such as a charging blue such as charging a blue attack to not get staggered or using an ability to not get targeted by a grapple. But Kurumi's teleport is another way of getting away from it or knocking the enemy team away. So if the enemy is far away enough and they grapple, the distance for them to go to Kurumi allows Kurumi to activate her umbrella or link onto an ally and then teleport to knock them off their feet or to escape them. Next up we're going to be talking about using Kurumi's umbrella as a stagger fall. So a stagger fall is when you use an ability or an attack that stops your character from dropping to the ground. So Kurumi has two of these. When Kurumi is linked onto her umbrella or her ally, she can move around with it of course. But when she uses her vertical attack button, such as her right click on the PC, of course it provides damage reduction, attack damage, or healing. But also when you use it in the air, it will provide a stagger fall for around half a second to one second. Kurumi can also do this when activating her V3, which lasts a little longer, to around one second to two seconds. The reason why this is good is to use these abilities in the air to provide a stagger fall is because there could be attacks that are under you that you are dodging because they wouldn't think that you would use your abilities or your ultimate in the air which provides a little bit of a you know sneaky play continuing with Kurumi's v3 ultimate it's also a combo breaker so when you are stuck in the combo you can activate it and it will cancel any attack and it will provide you with a gold stance and heal you and your allies for a burst regeneration of armor and health Next up, we're going to be talking about Kurumi's V1 and V2. When fighting on a hill and you are low and you want to take advantage of Kurumi's ultimate, in this situation of course, when you activate Kurumi's V1 and V2 ability in the air, she will drop immediately onto the ground and activate the ultimate. You probably ask why is this good, because you, any character can click crouch and just fall just like how she does. But usually in this situation when you're getting chased by an enemy, they want to free fall and see where you're going and then click crouch if they're on the ground. But when Kurumi activates her ultimate, it of course is like the crouch, so she goes to the ground. But then after like, it will immediately activate the ultimate, so it doesn't take time to press it again. It will do it automatically for you after you click it one time. And this will, this is good because... She can heal her and her allies with, with a burst of armor and healing without interruptions. Lastly, the final tip I'll be talking about for today's video is using ranged weapons with Kurumi. So when knocking the enemy team down with your teleport, I suggest taking out your ranged weapon, such as a musket or bow preferably, or any ranged weapon that is, and shoot at them at a rapid speed. This is a great way to get free damage in, and you get around 1 to 3 bullets. You don't have to charge it up right away or zoom in. You just left click after it will actually just deal near the same amount of damage. You don't have to charge it all the way or zoom in. Like with the musket, you don't have to zoom in to deal more damage. The only time 
it deals more damage, especially with the bow, is when you charge it up twice. If you charge it up one time, it's the same amount of damage as you just like spam it. Well, that is everything for today's video. If you guys have any comments or suggestions on which video I should do next, please let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day and take care. Bye-bye.